Kevin did already off. Oh, now it's my turn! Hi guys, Robert here. In this video I will show you how to make an epic Deep House track. But first let me explain you a little bit what Deep House actually is. Deep House is a subgenre of house music and it was created in the 80s. I'm sure many of us were not even born at that time. The tempo it's between 110 and 125 BPM. The pioneers of Deep House music are Marshall Jefferson and Larry Heard. But today we are focusing on the modern part of the Deep House. First we will need to set the tempo to 124 BPM. Then you will need to find some good vocals that will boost your inspiration. I don't wanna live. Do you, do you? I just wanna feel good. Memory, we come, me Memory, we come alive. Desires, the shadows hide. Wild eyes, start to shine. Feels like paradise. Then pick a cool preset and write a catchy bass line. Always try to create your melodies while are you listening to the vocals. Basically this will be the foundation of our track and we will need to start from here. For the break I will add some simple drums. Then to add some extra groove I will create a simple percussion loop. Don't forget to add some ambience to fill up the empty spaces. Then I will add impacts, downlifters, and reversed synths. The next step is to create a nice build up. For this I will add some build up snares. Some risers. And I will also keep the same elements from the breakdown. The only thing that it's changing is the bass melody. To build more tension on this part I will create a pitch automation. For the pre-drop part I added a few basic elements. Now the most exciting part, the drop, but before I want to tell you that I just released the ultimate deep house sample pack. This pack contains 150 high quality serum presets, 475 one shots and drum loops, 20 midi chord progressions, 
and 10 vocal hooks that will help you to start your tracks with some inspiration. Also this pack comes with 5 project files compatible with FL Studio Ableton and Logic Pro. Link in the description. Now let's get back to the tutorial. For the drop I had in mind to keep the same bass melody but to add some variations to the acapella. First I searched for some good vocal cuts from the acapella. <laughs> Then on the next bar I pitched up the vocals with 12 semitones. And then I created a crazy reverb automation. Then you will need to create a groovy deep house beat. First I started with a good kick. And then I layered it with another one. Then I layered multiple claps to get a richer sound. I added the percussion used in the break. I also created a hi-hat loop to have more excitement in the highs. And on every two bars I added some white noise. A very nice trick it's to add synth shots and reverse synths to fill up the gaps between bars. Between the first drop and the second one I created a simple fill using a raised bass and a synth. And instead of making the second drop hit the same I thought it will be interesting to delete the kick drum from the first two bars and to add a lot of filters and reverb. Also on the drop bass I added multiple layers playing at a low volume to get a different sound. And now something that nobody has thought it's gonna happen. Not even me. We have a full track. After the end of the second drop I added some impacts and a reversed synth to make the transition into the second break. For the second break I had in mind to create something different from the first one. My idea was to make something melodic and emotional. Also to bring up the energy I added an extra layer of the acapella that it's playing with 12 semitones up. I also made some changes to the second build up as well. Let's see how the final result sounds like. <laughs> 